A moderate earthquake near the North Carolina-Virginia state line was felt this morning as far south as Greenville, Rock Hill and other parts of South Carolina. Aftershocks cannot be predicted so time will tell if there is more to the earthquake, said Paul Caruso, a geophysicist with the United States Geological Survey, in an interview with the Greenville News. The earthquake was centered in Sparta, North Carolina, near Virginia and about 128 miles north of Greenville, according to the United States Geological Survey. It happened at 8.07 a.m. Many in the upstate felt it, I was still sleeping and was awakened from the quick shaking of our home, said Chris Lipscomb of Gaffney. Lasted maybe two to three seconds. I have been through two of these before in my life, making the third. And I will say by far this was stronger. William Zachary Green, of Chesney, said the shake came and went in an instant. It was strong enough I felt the house move, Green said. It made my dogs jump up and start barking. Only lasted for a split second. A local Facebook group in Sparta has photos and videos of potential earthquake damage, including damage to brick homes and items shaking off of grocery shelves. A moderate quake it was described by the federal agency as an M5 earthquake on the modified Mercalli scale, which is distinct from the Richter scale formerly used to measure earthquake intensity. The magnitude scale goes up to 10 and a 5 is considered moderate. On the Richter scale it would be a magnitude 5.1 earthquake, Caruso said. The third way earthquakes are measured is by people who felt shaking. More than 44,000 people have reported some intensity from the earthquake, including people throughout most of South Carolina. Sparta in an active quake zone there have been reports of fallen or damaged chimneys at the center, which is typical for such a quake, but widespread damage should not be expected, Caruso said. As the day continues, more people are expected to report damage and if they felt the earthquake. If you felt it, report your experience here. The number of people feeling the effects is typical, Caruso said. He said East Coast earthquakes are typically felt for a longer distance than West Coast earthquakes, due to a difference in tectonic plates and gaps between them. The area in North Carolina at the center of the shakes is known as an active area for earthquakes, Caruso said. According to a North Carolina study of earthquakes, this may have been the most intense earthquake in North Carolina since 1916. More, SC isn't known for earthquakes, but this small town has had three in six months. What's up? Earthquakes are a regular occurrence in South Carolina, according to John Lane, director of Wofford College's Environmental Studies Center at Historic Glendale Shoals. Earthquakes happen all over the planet, the results of movement of widespread geologic faults, said Lane. They happen here. I remember back in the 1960s feeling one.